Yeah, very good morning, dear students. Uh, myself, uh, Dr. V. Ganesh Kumar, assistant professor in Department of Mathematics. Uh, today, I am here to discuss about the few uh, methods uh, to find the particular integrals. Uh, uh, this is a topic from the course uh, for the B.Tech first year engineering students. Uh, that is, course name is Ordinary Differential Equations and Vector Calculus. So, let us go to the uh, methods, whatever the methods we have, let us discuss one by one. So, in this uh, lecture, we want to discuss the one of the methods, okay. So, let me go for that. Before that, what is actually particular integral, okay. So, that I want to explain the first. Uh, so, anyway, we consider the uh, non-homogeneous ordinary differential equation. Uh, it is in the form of uh, f of d into y equal to q of x, where capital D represented by the differentiation with respect to x. Then uh, our main purpose is to solve the this differential equation. So that uh, solution is generally known as complete solution and complete solution is divided into two parts, mainly one is yc and yp. Here yc is generally known as complementary function or else we call also called as general solution which uh, i am not going to concentrate much here for this so our main purpose is to yp where that yp is generally known as particular integral or particular solution of the given differential equation and it is generally given by 1 by f of d into q of x so there are several methods to calculate a particular integral of a given differential equation uh, so, one of the methods which I am going to try to say is method 1. So, let me take uh, as uh, methods are uh, classified depending on the right hand side function q of x that is non-homogeneous function. So, depending on the q of x we have several methods. So, one of them is if the q of x is of the form uh, exponential where e q of x equal to e power a x. So, now let us see how can be calculated y p whenever q of x is e power ax. So, remember for this as a, a simple uh, hint uh, I can say you do replace d with the a in our f of d. So, that means particularly if I explain uh, case 1 that is after replacing d with a if your f of a is non-zero then our yp can be written as e power ax by f of a okay that can be done so you can see that the denominator f of a can be that yp can be defined when f of a is non-zero that's why that condition is implemented okay right we good so far if f of a is zero then we'll go for case two so that case two is if f of a zero we'll go for f dash of a that means one more differentiation for f of d then replace d with a so that uh, check whether f dash of a is zero or non-zero if f dash of a non-zero then yp can be written as x into e power ax by f dash of a. That's clear. Of course, unfortunately, we may get f of a and f dash of a both 0, right? That will be case 3 I'm writing here. So, the case 3 deals with the even f dash of a also 0, but the f double dash of a is non-zero. Then yp can be written as x square into e power x by f double dash of a. So, likewise, we will go on uh, if depending on the how many derivatives are 0, that next derivative is non 0, we will write yp. Okay. This is the procedure to find the yp whenever our q of x is e power ax. Of course, there is little confusion. Let us uh, clarify those, uh, remove that confusion by few examples. So, let me go with the one example. Basic examples will go. First example. The question is like this. So, find the particular integral of d cube minus 2d square minus 5d plus 6 into y equals to right hand side function e power 2x plus 3 into e power x plus 15. As we are discussing about the method 1 where our q of x is an exponential function. So, similar terms I have taken here right hand side as a q of x. Now, let us see how to find the particular integral. Okay. So, now as we know that yp is 1 by f of d into q of x 1 by f of d into q of x so which is uh, 1 by f of d into the right hand side function e power 2x plus 3 into e power x plus 15 so let us just uh, divide this into uh, separate into three parts as we are having three terms in our uh, via q of x so 1 by f of d e power x plus 3 into 1 by f of d into e power x plus I can write the constant term in the power terms of exponential as e power 0 into x. 
Now let us consider this as yp1 plus yp2 plus yp3. Okay, this simplification I am just doing that is uh, uh, doing separating the yp terms. So now let consider yp1. So yp1 is 1 by f of d into e power 2x. Now if you observe the right hand side function that is e power 2x having in the form of e power ax. What is a here? a is 2 here. Okay. Now immediately what I do is I will calculate f of a. Okay. So f of a is given by replacing d with 2 in our uh, f of d. Okay. So f of a that means I can write it as uh, uh, 2 cube minus 5 into 2 square. Mm, uh, sorry 2 into 2 square minus 5 into 2 plus 6 so calculating that the value of that f of a or f of 2 will be minus 4 so just check it uh, 8 minus 8 will be 0 minus 8 uh, uh, 10 plus 6 is minus 4 which is non-zero you can observe that non-zero okay so then by the case one the formula it is given by e power 2x by f of 2 and that is given by if you observe e power 2x by f of 2 value is minus 4 that is exactly yp1 okay corresponding to e power 2x the case one where f of a is non-zero okay right clear now let us go to the yp2 the second part the second part is given by 3 into 1 by f of d e power x okay e power x now again you compare this with e power x where a equals to 1 if you compare with that okay then what is f of a so i need to find out f of 1 calculate f of 1 so f of 1 is calculated as 1 cube replacing d with 1 1 cube minus 2 into 1 square minus 5 into 1 plus 6 so this will be 1 minus 2 minus 5 plus 6 will become 0 okay so that means f of 1 is 0 when f of 1 0 that is a case 1 is failed so when case 1 fails uh, we'll go for case 2 in case 2 what we'll do we'll find out f dash of 1 so in order to find out f dash of 1 first find out f dash of d that means whenever we are having f of d that differentiate with respect to d one time that is d cube derivative is 3d square minus 4d and of course minus 5d derivative is minus 5 then replace d with a again this a here 1 okay f dash of 1 that is 3 into 1 square minus 4 into 1 minus 5 so calculating this 3 minus 4 minus 1 minus 1 minus 5 will become minus 6 again this is non-zero so utilizing this uh, condition the second case 3 into 1 by x into e power x by f dash of 1 as f of 1 0 we are utilizing the case 2 okay so in that case 2 it will be become 3x e power x by f dash of 1 value is minus 6 again if you can simplify it will be minus 1 by 2 x e power x which is yp2 okay so now going to the uh, yp3 so the yp3 is given by so if you observe yp3 it is equals to 1 by f of d into 15 so as i said the constant term can be written as 1 by f of d into e power 0 x now again if you observe here d equal to a that means a is 0 here now substitute f of 0 in f of d that is calculating that you will get it as minus 6 which is non-zero again so when f of a is non-zero only case one simple the 15 into e power 0 x by f of 0 so now if you replace that 15 by f of 0 is minus 6 i can write it as uh, minus 5 by 2 so the required thus the required particular integral yp is given by so adding these terms yp1 yp2 yp3 you will get it as what is the first yp1 i think it is minus 1 by 4 e power 2x and the second one is uh, minus uh, x into e power x by 2 and last one is minus 5 by 2 is that correct let me check first of all uh, first one is e power 2x by minus 4 and second one is minus x by 2 e power x and third one is minus 5 by 2 so this is the particular integral of yp for the first problem okay i think uh, it is clear up to now 
so let us go to another problem one more problem let us discuss so that uh, more clarity you will get here okay right so the another problem is solve d square minus 4d plus 3 into y equal to sin h2x plus 2 power x okay so anyway solve means we need to find out yc and yp as i said yc we are not considering let us go for yp okay again particular integral so the yp is given by yp equals to as we have formula 1 by f of d into q of x what is q of x here where okay i can write where q of x equals to okay uh, sin h to x okay plus 2 power x now if you observe in method one the right hand side function must be only function of exponential e power x but just see that any terms which can be converted into exponential that you need to keep in mind okay it need not be always e power ax form some of the functions we can express in terms of exponential that means like i can say here uh, we have formula hyperbolic function sin h ax equals to e power ax minus e power minus ax by 2 okay similarly like a power x equal to okay uh, i can write e power log a into x e power log a into x so that now our q of x can be written as using this so e power 2x uh, minus e power minus 2x by 2 plus 2 power x can be written as e power log 2 into x as of that okay now see all the terms in q of x are of exponential function okay right now let us go to the yp calculating yp here so 1 by f of d i can write it as e power 2x by 2 is 1 minus 1 by f of d into e power minus 2x by 2 plus 1 by f of d into e power ln 2 of x okay so that means my first i am simplifying the right hand side function or converting into exponential function whenever it is possible so that we can apply method one my intention okay now consider yp1 i can say yp1 here let me consider that as 1 by 2 first term 1 by f of d e power 2x now as usual we know method one case one we replace 2 with the uh, i mean d with 2 so that we need to check for that okay so e power 2x by f of 2 now calculate f of 2 here f of 2 can be written as 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 3 okay so this is 2 square minus 4 into 2 that means 4 minus 8 minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 non-zero so luckily we got non-zero that non-zero term can be replaced by in the denominator e power 2x by minus 1 that is yp1 similarly yp2 i can say yp2 is 1 by f of d e power minus 2x by 2 so as usual we can write 1 by 2 outside again we can calculate f of minus 2 so calculating f of minus 2 is minus 2 whole square minus 4 into minus 2 plus 3 so how much it will be plus 4 plus a 12 plus 3 is 15 again non-zero so whenever non-zero we replace minus 2x by f of minus 2 so then 1 by 2 e power minus 2x by f of minus 2 is 15 so this will be e power minus 2x by 30 the second part of right hand side function is done okay so now going to the third part 1 by f of d that is yp3 i can write yp3 is 1 by f of d into e power ln of 2 into x ln 2 of x okay again here a is ln 2 okay so since uh, we replace that a uh, in place of d okay so ln of 2 of x by f of ln of 2 okay so calculating ln of 2 e power ln of 2 of x by so it is d square i think uh, ln of 2 whole square minus uh, 4 d, uh, what is the our f of d term let me check minus 4 d plus 3 okay minus 4 d minus 4 into ln of 2 plus 3 so this calculate this uh, after calculating anyway numerator term can be written as 2 power x you can observe again a reversing process 2 power x and this ln of 2 will be our 
calc using calc you just evaluate ln of 2 as 0 0.7078 this is yp3 anyway thus uh, what i required is thus complete particular integral yp is written as yp1 plus yp2 plus yp3 okay or else yp1 how much we got yp1 with the log 2x is e power that is minus e power 2x by 2 minus uh, uh, of course uh, e power minus 2x by 30 i think and last one is plus 2 power x by 0 0.7078 is that correct also let me confirm once checking that so first one is uh, minus 1 by 2 e power 2x good second one e power minus 2x by 30 and third one uh, plus e power 2 power x by 0 0.078 okay this is our complete yp so this is the procedure to calculate the particular integral by method one so what method one says in summary i can say method one is whenever q of x that the right hand side function is of the exponential form so we use the method one where we replace our d with a depending on the zero or non-zero term we apply case one case two case three so i hope you understood this uh, also if you follow this video just uh, also try to do the problems for practice a few problems just three problems for practice so that it will be helpful to get the good marks in our examination okay so we'll follow this video with the methods and remaining methods also in another video please do follow thank you thank you very much like share comment and subscribe vnr digital learning resource youtube channel